Assalamu alaikum girls. Welcome to week 8 of term 3. Inshallah this week we are going to do a topic that you would have noticed as a feature in Alice before. And after this week we will be able to make a real final game in Alice. Because this is what we have been learning the skills for. So this week we are actually covering a topic called if else. You would have noticed this in Alice where if you come to Alice and open Alice and you press cancel you would have seen this if else statement over here so this is the one we are going to try to learn today let's just try dragging and dropping it here it asks for condition I press true all right so going back to our slides if else statement is actually a control statement because this control statement is based on a decision. This the keyword here is decision. So basically an if else statement helps you to make a decision. And how do you make a decision? You make a decision by asking a question, right? And if you remember, a question in Alice was called a function. Remember this from last term? Whenever we ask a question using a function, the answer is either a boolean value which is true or false. You have learned boolean values as well in last term. So whenever we ask a question using a function, the answer will be a boolean and the boolean is either true or false. And what an if else statement does is it decides. It decides what method to run based on whether the boolean is true or false. So let's look at an example for this. For example, what Alice will do is when you come into your program and you ask a question using a function, that answer to the function will be either true or it will be false. If it is true, the if else function will help you to do one action and if the answer is false, it will help you to do another action. So for example, if you have a traffic light and the question is, that is the function is, is the light green? If the light is green, then what do you have to do? You have to move, right? Your car should continue driving. And if the light is green, question is asked and the answer is no, then what is the action you need to do? The action you need to do is, if it's not green, you have to wait till it's green until your car is allowed to move forward. So this is the exact same thing that an if else statement will do. In an if else statement that you have in Alice, a question is asked in this white box. And what is a question? A function. So that means always what comes here is a function. And then once this question is asked, if the answer of the question is true, then whatever is here is executed whatever action or method is here will run and if the answer to this question is false then what will run the method that is over here let's go back to our slides now now the question arises is it possible that you ask a question and if the question is answer of the question is yes you do something and if the answer of the question is no you don't do anything is it possible to leave it blank the answer is yes you can leave it blank if you don't have anything but if you ask a question minimum you need an answer for one of the options now let's see how to create an if else statement in alice and how to fill it up so as I showed you in the beginning of this video, an if else statement is made by dragging this if else onto here. So let's just do that again. You have the if else over here, drag it into your code editor. Then it asks you whether condition should be true or false. By default, just select true all the time because we are going to replace this anyways. And what do we replace it with? always a function always a function goes here so if we need to have a function first we need to have some objects right so let me add some objects i'm going to choose a bunny for example and a cow
let me move my bunny a bit to the side and I want to make my cow a little bit bigger all right so now the question I feel like asking is is my bunny shorter than the cow this is the question I feel like asking so where will I find this question? I will find it under the functions of bunny, right? So select bunny, go to functions of bunny and find this question. Which is bunny is shorter than. I want to know whether bunny is shorter than what? The cow, right? So the entire cow. So I'm putting this question here, this function. Now if this question is true, that is the answer is yes, then what I want should go here in this space. So maybe if the bunny is shorter than the cow, I want the bunny to say, yes, I am shorter. Yes, I am short, for example. And if the bunny is, if this question is asked, is the bunny shorter than the cow? And the answer is false. Then you will not come here. You will come to else. You will come over here. So what do we want to do here? We want the bunny to say, no, I am not short. So here you can see we have put in a complete if else statement. You drag the if else. Yeah, and then you chose the condition true and then you put the function you wanted. Functions are the questions. You have all the questions over here. And then if the question is true, this is the line I want to do. This is the method or action. And else, if the function is false, then what do you want to do? That goes over here. So now let's try to run this program. If I play this program, this code will run and it will ask, is the bunny shorter than the cow? And in our case, is it really short or not? Yes, in our picture, the bunny is shorter. So it should ideally say, yes, I am short. So let's try if this works. See, our bunny quickly says, yes, I am short. Now let's try the opposite of this. I keep the bunny, but I make the bunny bigger. And then I make my cow smaller. Now I'm going to run this program again. In this time, what will the if else run? This orange method or this orange method? Yes, it will come to else and the bunny will say, no, I am not short. Let's try. See, it quickly says, no, I am not short. So as you can see, whenever you have an if else function and you ask a question, as a function then your answer you, your code will run only for one of the orange parts either it will say i am short or it will say i am not short you will never have a situation where both will happen why because your function is a question and your function as a question can only have one answer true or false it cannot have both answers right so this is the reason why now let's go back to our slides. We have already seen how to create an if else statement and now we can summarize the steps of making an animation using if else. The first step we did was we added our objects, we selected our objects, then we dragged our if else statement inside from here. And then we selected the function that has to go inside the if else. And then we have to select the methods, the method for true and the method for false. So now let's see some other examples of if else statements and try to see if this makes sense for us. So as you can know, you can have either the true or the false, one of them as blank. So for example, here you can see the method for false is blank. Here also you can see the method for false is blank and this is completely fine. This is correct. So let's try to understand what are the four examples here. In this example number one, you have a spider robot and the question you are asking is, is the spider robot shorter than the rock? So if the spider robot is shorter, that is this question answer is true. Then what you will do? this much you will do which is the neck of the spider robot moves up 
and the neck of the spider robot then moves down so that means it's like nodding right it's saying yes and if it is not shorter if it is false then what happens nothing happens in this example number two do you see that what is the question here camel is smaller than horse the question is is the camel smaller than the horse if the camel is smaller that is the answer of this question is true then what happens this happens the camel says i am short and if this question answer is false then what happens the camel will say i am tall now let's look at the third example in the third example the question is penguin is within 2 meters of first century woman if the penguin is within 2 meter means it is near it is within 2 meter of the woman then what will the penguin do the penguin will move back and if it's not what will the penguin do nothing now you have the last and fourth example here it says if garfield distance in front of john is equal to 2 meters that means garfield comes in front of john and the distance in front of john is 2 meters exactly then what will happen garfield will say hello and if this question answer is false that means the distance is 1 or 3 or 5 or something else then what will garfield do garfield will play a pop sound so these are some examples of if else statements for you and your task for this week is to open a blank alice file and build any world of your choice but the world should have a working if else statement inside it you can choose any objects any template but whatever world you are creating or story you are creating it should have an if else statement in it and some examples of if else statement are given in this slide for you anyway you can do any of the questions you want to ask can be asked yeah so a question can be any of the function for any of the object is it within some distance what is the distance to the left to the right what is the distance above is it smaller than larger than shorter than any of these questions you can ask to do your alice task for today As usual your plenary for this week is to complete the quiz on Edmodo you will have four questions for four marks and four minutes and this is all for this week's task so remember you have two tasks you have to make a world in alice with an if else statement and submit it on edmodo as well as you have a plenary quiz to complete on edmodo hope this was a nice and interesting lesson for you take care and assalam alaikum